Hey guys, it's Yvette. <laughs> it is Monday and so it is my day to um, sort of catch up with things that have been going on, things that I'm planning for the very near future as in the next week or so. And um, I've really come to like enjoy doing these. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I was sort of sitting and contemplating what I was going to talk about um, on this video today. And I, the first thing I want to do is officially announce that, and this is so funny, it, the winner of the Fort Worth Fabric Studio, um, spring 2020, ultimate picnic quilt kit, mystery quilt kit, uh, was Des Foss. And I hope that I'm saying her name right, because also she has, um, I think on her, on Instagram, no, not Instagram, because I don't know where she is on Instagram. On YouTube, it says Des, D-E-Z, F-O, S, S, I think, but then like her name, it was different like everywhere. And so I kept thinking, okay, I mean, I'm sure it's a nickname. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it is. And then also I know that, um, we tend to sort of try to change things up whenever we're putting a name out on either YouTube or Instagram or wherever, um, just to keep a little bit of privacy, which I completely understand. But then it, at that point I, I was thinking, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations, Des. She's really sweet. And um, I sent the kit out today. And so um, and I sent a priority. So you will get it this week. And hopefully sooner rather than later. That would be nice. Um, so I just wanted to announce that before I started anything. Because I know people are always looking for it on YouTube. Um, but to just announce a winner, I mean, like the video would be three seconds long. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> Unless it's me, and then it's like five minutes because I talk about things for five minutes, which really only take 30 seconds. <laughs> um, anyway, so I just wanted to say that. I know people were looking for it on YouTube. That's why I thought I better put it out there. Um, typically, what I will do, just to let you guys know in the future, is I do put it, if I remember... <laughs> on the community page so that you guys can see it there. I also will post it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, the next thing I was going to talk about is the mini series so along. And we just uh, had the release of the third pattern, which is the pineapple on yesterday. That was on Sunday. And that was the second time that I have done a premiere. And I'm finding that I kind of like them. Um, I hope you guys do too. It was nice to sit down and watch the video with you guys. Um, thank you for coming if you, if you were there. And thank you even more if you stayed for the whole thing. Because it is a long video. This um, pattern was just more, it just had more cuts and, and, and pressing and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, because there are more rows around. So the video was well over an hour. And so we had a long time to sit there and talk. So that was really good. Um, and I was just wondering, um, if the way that I'm doing the videos is, oh, I know what I wanted to bring up. Okay. So I have no idea why. I have not noticed it, or at least not as noticeable as it was on this video, that my table keeps, like, moving. Like, every time I do anything, the table will start to shake. And um, I didn't notice while I was making the video because I'm so busy, you know, doing my cutting or my um, whatever else it is that I'm doing. I didn't even notice. And so here I am editing the video and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, like, people are going to be getting sick. <laughs> So anyway, I talked to Jim about it and he has like rigged up this thing over here to like keep it steady. So that shouldn't happen <laughs> anymore. I apologize if it really did make anyone sick. I, I mean, it, I'm, I can sometimes have a bit of that vertigo type thing or the, right? Like I can't watch, what are those, um, you know, those movies where it's like, it's as if you are on the roller coaster. Now listen, I can be on a roller coaster. 
I've been on many roller coasters and I love it. But for some reason, that simulation thing does a number on me, right? And so I was okay through the video, but I did notice that the table was shaking as I was editing. So there was really nothing I could do about it. Um, so it had to be left that way. But um, I just wanted to let you know that Jimbo was on the case. <laughs> um, so I've kind of been um, a little introspective in the past week or so, about week, week and a half, thinking about things. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did make an announcement about Christy, um, Miss Georgia Sunshine, my best, my bestie. Um, she hit 9,000 subscribers last week. And I mean, we hit 8,000 at like the same time, just in what, December? Um, so I am so happy for her. And it made me start thinking that I, I'm not sure, but like part of me, like if I sit down and I really like think about it, I'm like, am I really working? I mean, I know that I'm working hard, Every, you know, and I'm not sitting here trying to go all the time. I mean, that's really not it. It's that even though I know that I'm working hard, sometimes it feels like, am I resting on my laurels? Am I really doing what I'm trying to do? you know what I mean? Like, um, cause we all get tired or, um, you know, something that you're doing and, you know, maybe feel like it's like, you're just like treading water and you're not getting anywhere kind of thing. <laughs> Um, and I tend to feel that way some a lot, but I think that I chalk it up mostly to the fact that I am just one of those people who wants everything right now. Like if I'm, if I'd make a decision that I want something, I get it now. I do it now. I, I don't tend to spend a whole lot of time thinking about it. And I'm not saying this is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying this is how I am. Um, I may one minute say, I don't like this. I'm not going to do that. I, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then I go and I do a little like research on it or something. And when I mean, when I say little, I mean like, I just go and I try to read up what other people are saying. Not that I let it influence me, but if, if something is said or if there is, listen, any, any little thing can change my mind about something. And then bam, I'm done. Like, um, I don't remember who it is because I have so many of you guys who pass along advice and ask me, you know, would I try this? Would I try that? And I, I know I just commented to her about it um, last week. Was it last week? I think it was last week. Um, but one of you out there had asked me if I would consider doing premieres because Pat Sloan did it. Um, and I think that this had come up out of... Um, after the whole incident in a live. Um, and at that time I had said I wasn't really interested. And the reason why I said that was because, um, A, I didn't know anything about it. B, I didn't think that it was either something I would like or something I had time for. Um, and just probably thinking that it would be more work. And so I was, you know, avoiding it. I know that, um, or I had seen that Becca had done a couple. And, um, you know, I, I didn't go to them mainly because, I mean, I just, I don't have time. I wish I had more time to spend on YouTube, to be honest with you, because I used to really like watching all the videos and I'm sure I still would. I just, you know, I, I really just don't have the time is the only reason. Otherwise, I would be on there checking everybody out too, just like just like you guys. Because um, there's a lot of stuff out there that I feel like I miss and I would really like to see more of it. But, you know, I made a decision that I was going to do this and it needs the time 
any all the time that I can possibly devote to it. So that's why I don't really watch any others. So because of that, I had not seen Becca's. I didn't really know how they go. I mean, I knew people would do them, but I didn't know what it was about. And then um, Christy said that she wanted to do one. And so I was asking Becca about how, you know, what, what it entailed. And come to find out, seemed like it was pretty easy. Actually sounded like it was kind of fun. Um, and I really wanted to go to Christie's so that I could see. Um, but I didn't wake up till after hers was over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, I, I am up probably till like one or two, like every morning and on the weekends when I can sleep in a little bit, I tend to, which was another reason why I was like, like if I were going to do a premiere, I would, I was thinking to myself, you know, I would have to do it on a weekend because, um, because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have time to do it any other, any other time. When I get home from work, I just start working again and I need to take as much time as I possibly can, like I said before, um, to do so. And so, um, anyways, I missed hers. And then, I don't know, I just, like I said, I fly by the seat of my pants. So then I just decided, you know what? I think for this mini series, I'm going to just have one. And, um, and so Christy and I talked about it and she said, yeah, she really liked doing it and it was fun. And so I was like, yeah, let me give it a go on this one. And then it seemed like a lot of fun. So I did, um, the first one on courthouse step and then I did the second one with this pineapple video, which was really long. <laughs> Hopefully they're not all that long. Um, I just, it's like when you're editing, I'm, I'm thinking that there's a lot of things that I say and that I explain in the video that shouldn't just be cut out. You know, so anyway, it ended up so darn long. Um, so there you go. I did that. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was since I've been so introspective this week. And because Christy hit her 9,000 last week, um, I thought, you know what? I need to jumpstart this baby. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what to do. Honestly, like with YouTube, it's hit or miss. Um, it's, it's not like there is a specific formula that you can have that is going to absolutely shoot you into the stratosphere unless you have a viral video or and there's no rhyme or reason to that nobody ever says oh I made this video I know that thing's gonna go viral you nobody knows you know so there are all sorts of like little things that can um influence it so one of the things I thought that I would do um is I've really started thinking about what my next giveaway was going to be because I'm thinking if I put in my head that at 9,000 subscribers I am going to do this giveaway and I just start talking about it. I'm trying, I'm hoping it'll make it more of a self-fulfilling prophecy is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> um, so I think I came up with a great idea. I mean, I'm not gonna like go all like nuts or anything. Of course, y'all all think I go nuts. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to um, have a giveaway and the winner, whoever it is, will get to choose a quilt kit of their choice from Fort Worth Fabric Studio. Um, the quilt kit is going to be on me. And when I talked to Jody about it over at Fort Worth Fabric Studio, um, she thought it was a great idea. And she said, hey, get you know what? We'll throw in the backing. So, um, it's the backing for the fabric uh, or for the kit is going to be provided by Fort Worth Fabric Studio. And I thought, well, you know what? That's that's not enough. Like, OK, you're going to get the whole kit. You're going to put your your quilt together. It's not really a quilt until you actually get it quilted. So then I contacted Quilting by David and I said to him, you know, I am going to have this giveaway really soon. And I said, um, I would really like to tell the winner of the quilt kit 
that the quilting for their uh, quilt would be provided by you. Like I would pay for the uh, quilting and the batting and the shipping to and from if, if necessary. Um, and I'd really like for you to be the person to do it because I think that quilting by David is amazeballs. I just, I just like him. He's always been so super sweet to me. And, um, we met about a year ago at a uh, quilt market. And ever since then, I've just wanted to help him and he's wanted to help me. And it's just been very nice. Um, and so I said to him, I'm, I'm like, I'd, I'd really like for you to be the person who does the quilting. And he messaged me right back and he said, the quilting and the batting is on me. So you will be getting your quilt quilted compliments of quilting by David. And I think you're really going to love it. Um, so anyway, this is the big plan that I have for my 9,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, and I'm just going to start talking about it until it's done. And I don't know how or I don't know what I'm going to do to do that. I'm hoping that I'll get lots of word of mouth from you guys. Because obviously, the sooner that it comes, the sooner that you get to enter to try to win. <laughs> um, so, so that's something that I was doing in my introspection this week. Um... And I think before, as I close, what I'd really like to know um, from you guys is when you think of me right now, I know already, you know, you guys say that um, you love watching my videos. I help you in so many ways to feel better about yourself and and all of those things. You guys, you have no idea how much that touches my heart because I love, I, this is the other thing is I am such a people person. Like I have always been and I just love people. I love different people. I like to, like I always also, like with my mom, we were always like people watchers. <laughs> you know, like let's say you're sitting in a Starbucks or at the mall, at the food court at the mall or and you see people just walking by in their everyday life. Um, I always wonder, and I know I'm not the only one. There are tons of people who do this. Um, but I do like to to think about what their lives must be like. Like, and maybe the things that I come up with are extremely fanciful or um, completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they are sometimes at least because um, I don't know those people. And it's not like I go up to them and say... Can you tell me if I'm right? <laughs> and sometimes it's just people by themselves or it's people with their kids or it's people who, you know, are obviously teenagers who are dating or, um, and of course that has changed in, in over the years. So I know I'm probably very wrong about what's going on there. Um, but when you think of me, I'm wondering if your perception of me has changed from the time that you found me on YouTube and thought, hey, I think I want to watch this girl. <laughs> and now, has your perception changed? And like there, there are a lot of things that have happened um, over the time that I've been on YouTube, like... Um, I made the decision to start opening less boxes and switching that more to quilting. Um, I had started out where I was just a subscription box opener and I opened a lot of things that actually interested me. Um, but then over time, I started to realize how much I was missing quilting. And so I thought, you know, I need to make quilting more an integral part of my channel because it makes me happy. Um, I love the quilting community. I wanted to, I want to build my own quilting community. I want to have people and I already do. I already do guys. So if you're out there, listen, I know you 
I may not have ever met you. I don't know what your face looks like, but I know your heart. And, um, and that means so much to me. It's what I wanted. It's what I wanted to do. And it's, yes, it's taken a long time, but you know what? I mean, it's so worth it to me. It's worth it. And, but I'm just curious if, if the perception has changed, um, because I started open less boxes, because I moved mainly to quilting, um, heck, because I let you guys all in at that last live stream and how that affected me. Does that make me more up here after that? More down here? Should I have not shared any of that stuff? I mean, you have no idea the opinions I get. Um, and some of them I'm quite are trolls, but they do hit. There are a lot of comments that I know are trolls and I try really hard to get rid of them before you guys see them but sometimes it'll hit it'll hit because you're thinking you know I know that this person is just trying to be mean and I know that this person is just trying to you know make me upset for whatever reason I mean you know that people just do it I think that they are sad themselves um but I've been like told that Anyway, I don't have to go into all of that. Just that maybe it's not a very good business decision for me to um, talk about that kind of stuff. And I guess I, and this might be my mistake too. I, I'm not sure that I want to see it as just a business. I, um, I don't see why it can't be a business but be one where people know who I am, like the real me, because I like me and I want to be like, I don't know. There are, there are a lot of people who are going to maybe make purchases in my Etsy shop, right, who I don't know and they don't know me. And that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But I also don't think there's anything wrong with getting to know your customers and that they really know who you are. I just don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, um, you know, at my local quilt shop, I know everybody who works there. I may not know, you know, certain things that's happened to them because, you know, I let them in, they let me into their house or anything like that. Kind of like what I do with you guys. But, um, but, I would at least consider them a friend. I would, you know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I hear lots of varying opinions about that. So I don't know if my perception or your perception of me has gone like this because of stuff like that that I share. Um, I'd really like to know how you feel. Um, and the fact that I have been trying really hard to do more so alongs and tutorials. Yes, it does mean that I have a, a few less boxes, but... Um, I try really hard to get them done as fast as possible so that you're not having to wait days and days and days for videos. <laughs> um, I do still have some boxes that I open, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, I just thought I would sort of get that kind of feedback from you guys. And this is the best way I know to get it. So I um, thought I would just ask. And that's about all that I thought about talking to you guys. And... Um, so I hope you like this video and hopefully I'll get some good feedback. If this is your first time here, this really is me. <laughs> I hope you like me and you'll subscribe and ring that bell so that you know every time I have videos. Um, this particular one is just my weekly catch up that I have. I have it like every Monday and um, everything else is either sew alongs, tutorials, um, box openings. That's basically it. So uh, if you like those sorts of things, I'd love for you to become part of my community. I think I've built up a pretty great one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>